Hi, I'm Justin. In this video my friend Reno is going to show you the easiest way to install a WordPress site. He will also show you how to install the most advanced and easy to use page builder called Elementor, so you can easily edit your WordPress site without needing to be a coder. Hey, even me a 12 year old kid can do it so I know he will find this very easy to do. Also, make sure to stay to the end, since I will give you a private code to access some of my paid courses completely free. Okay. Without further delay, Reno, take it away. So you want to get started with WordPress, and you want to make your own portfolio website, something like this, or maybe something like a business website, but you don't know where to start with WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your website. I will do this by buying a domain name for my own portfolio, so you can follow along with me. It's an easy process that I always follow when I'm working on my own website or on a client's website. And as a bonus, I will also show you how to install Elementor, which is the page builder that I used to build this website that you're seeing here. After you've done this, you can get started right away because we're going to use a method that will give you instant access to WordPress. This is better because with most other methods, you will have to wait a few hours or even a day before you can get started. The platform that we're going to use is SiteGround because they have a one-click WordPress installer, which makes it super easy for anybody to do this. On this page, I gather different resources that you will need to build websites, uh, things as hosting, page builders, handy plugins. Uh, for now, it's SiteGround and Elementor. There are links uh, to those websites here. So you just scroll down and you click on SiteGround hosting. And then you will go to their four options that they offer. Of course, we're going to go with WordPress hosting because we want to install WordPress. We're going to agree to cookies. Um, and as you can see, they offer free packages. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, but before you're actually going to buy this, of course, you want to know if it's a good investment. So let's just take a short look at the other options in the market. So you probably already know that if you want your website live, uh, you will need hosting and domain. And on your hosting, you install WordPress. Uh, this is the only thing you have to pay for. You cannot have your website live without it. Um, WordPress is free. The page build that we're going to use is free. So we're going to keep the budget very limited in this video. So let's just look at the best and the cheapest options to do this. Uh, there are a lot of companies where you can buy hosting and domain. Uh, I have almost 10 websites now live and I paid $5 per website per month. Um, so I almost paid $50 every month and I paid this amount for like two years and I thought it was a little bit too much So I started searching for other options and then I discovered SiteGround where they have a package that's unlimited So if you, even if you have 20 websites um, It's still one price and that price is $18 per month But now they have a special price and it only makes it $7 per month So I went from $50 per month to $7 per month um, and this price that you're seeing right here, you can lock that price for a few years so you won't pay more, uh, you know, next year. And I don't know for how long they're going to keep this price, but I luckily bought it for uh, $47 for per month price. Um, I advise you that you buy at least your own personal name.com, so your first name, last name.com, um, simply for the reason that you don't want anybody else with your personal name. Uh, .com or .org or, or, or the extension that you want. And that's why I bought uh, RinoDeBoer.com so nobody else can buy it. And now we only talked about pricing, but of course, you know, hosting is way more than pricing because cheap doesn't always mean good. Um, but they are officially recommended as the top three hosting companies by WordPress itself. And I've gathered some screenshots of Facebook groups where a lot of people voted for their, for their favorite hosting company. And as you can see, a lot of people uh, use SiteGround. Uh, and also for the speed, people who have switched to SiteGround, they posted their screenshots uh, about, the, about the speed. And it, it just went up dramatically. So that's just so cool. They have super fast servers. And what I also really like about them is their support. They have chat, they have phone, and they have uh, support tickets. And this is really nice because a lot of hosting companies, they take like one day or two days to respond. Um, and that's not what you want when you have a problem, you want it to be solved. So their fast support is also super nice. And the last one thing that I want to say about it is that their interface has just changed. Uh, they have updated their whole interface and me as a designer, I love the new interface. I'm going to show you after we buy the domain name. Uh, it's super nicely designed and that's, you know, what I care about. Most people don't, but, you know, I care about it. So let's just go and get this plan, the most cheap plan for now. And here you can, you know, choose your domain name. So uh, I already have my own name. So right now I'm just going to go with uh, the English translation of my name, which is Rita the Farmer. I hope it's still available. 
and I click proceed and now it's going to check if it's still available yes it's still available because it says congratulations if it's not available it will tell you like yo this name is not available you should choose another name so um, but if you choose your personal name you know chances are it's still available um, unless you have a very general name like uh, John Peterson for example right um, then you, you should choose uh, something else but at least you, you want your own personal name so now I'm going to just fill in my info and when I filled in this info I will get back to you Alright, so I filled in my info and now we're here on the payment information, you could just pay by card um, But I'm going to use Ideal for now because I'm in the Netherlands and this is the payment system here uh, But you can just fill in your credit card info And this is the section where you can lock that special price If you don't want to pay $10 a month, uh, you can pick this $4 a month uh, and you can lock it uh, for a certain period of time uh, The only con that I could find is that you have to pay now but it's also an advantage because you know you're going to pay that price uh, and that's it. So you can choose uh, how long you want this, this special price. So if you're going to put it on one month, you will only pay $4 for one month. But then after one month, it will go to the, the higher price. Um, so if you know that this is your own website and you want it at least one year or two years or maybe three years a life, then you should, of course, just pick this one um, and then you have to pay a pretty huge amount now but if you calculate it it's of course really cheap because it's for three years um, so you can also put it on 12 months and if you scroll down it's only $74 and that's the price for the whole year so then you will have your domain and you will have your hosting for a whole year for this price uh, you can also make it more expensive if you want with domain privacy and site scanner or you don't really need a site scanner domain privacy is something you can do um, if you don't want your personal name connected to your domain because uh, if your website is live people can search for who is the owner of this domain and um, if you don't check this they will see your personal info uh, so if that's not what you want you should also check this one um, for me I don't really care if people see my personal info so I'm just gonna uncheck this and now it will be 74 alright so now it's $74 um, but I'm gonna put it on one month for now because this for me is just a test website to show you it's not a real website I already have my website uh, but I will show you how to set it up so uh, for me I'm gonna put it on one month but you know it's your choice whatever you choose and then you just confirm that you have read and agreed to the second terms. I don't need the newsletter and you just click on pay now. Alright, I have paid and now they say thank you for purchasing SiteGround hosting services. Your transaction was complete. Alright, we are currently processing your email in case you have not received your welcome email. Okay, so I need to check my email. So I'm going to open my email. Alright, I have received one email from them which is just the information about my payment um, but that's not the email that you need you need to wait a few more seconds and they will send you another email which is this one uh, yes so this is the login for your SiteGround account um, so you need to click on this and then go back to your email and they say that your username is your email and the password is uh, what you just filled in when we signed up so I'm going to use that password. All right, and as you can see, this is the login. Uh, this is the whole new designed interface of the My SiteGround account. Um, and they've just made it super beautiful and super easy. There are a lot of tips here, but it's, it's you know, installing WordPress is, is super easy. If you have multiple websites, you will see them here. Your billing information is here. Um, but let's just install WordPress for now. So we're going to click on setup site and you will get this cool animation And here they will ask you the question if it's a completely new website or do you already have the website on a different hosting platform? Uh, so this is a new one. So I'm going to click on start new website So you scroll down and then there's WordPress you select it and here you can just create the login for um, your WordPress. So this is not your SiteGround login, this is your WordPress login. So every time you're gonna log into your website, um, this is the info that you will need. So you can use the same email if you want, all right? So I'm gonna use the same email and then you will choose another password. Uh, I suggest that you don't use the same password as SiteGround because that's, that's not really safe. So to choose another password here, they have this generate button. Uh, I'll just use that, I will copy it and I will save it somewhere in my notes.
All right, I will continue, and now they will ask again if they if we want to buy some more services, but we don't want that, so we're gonna just click on finish, and now it's installing WordPress in the backend. You don't have to do anything; you just wait, and now we're gonna wait till WordPress is installed. All right, so now it's done, and it says you're all set. So we don't need to care about this. We can just go to manage the site. So now how do you get to your website? Well, with WordPress, it's always the same. You just go to uh, your domain, right? For me, it's arenadeformer.com. Then you type slash wp-admin. And if you're really bad at remembering, uh, just save this link as a bookmark uh, because this is the login for your website. It's always the same. So you're gonna press enter. And now it will ask for the login uh, that we just created. So we're going to use the email and we're going to use the password that we have saved uh, a few minutes ago. All right, so now I'm going to click login. Welcome to your WordPress website. Now they have this starter menu. This is not what WordPress looks like. They want to help you with installing, you know, a lot of different uh, plugins, but we don't really want that because we just want a clean WordPress install. So we're going to click on exit uh, down at the bottom here. And now we are inside of WordPress, but as you can see, it has this SiteGround branding and they've installed some SiteGround things. This is not how WordPress looks like. So the first thing that you want to do, if you have your WordPress installed, is go to plugins and then deactivate the SiteGround optimizer and deactivate the WordPress starter. All right, then if you click back to your dashboard, this is how WordPress, uh, how a clean WordPress install looks like. All right, and now as a bonus, I wanna show you how you can install Elementor on your website. So like I've said, I've put the direct download link here. So go back to that link and then click on download Elementor for free. You're gonna click on it and you will wait. You will need to wait a few seconds and then it will download uh, here in the bottom. All right, now we have this uh, .zip file. We go back to our website, we go to plugins again, you click on add new, you click on upload plugin, and here you need to choose the files. So now we're going to find that zip that we just downloaded. For me, it's here in my downloads folder. You're going to click enter, and you click on install now. It's installed successfully, and the last thing you want to do is activate plugin. All right, so now Elementor is installed on your WordPress, and you can just start building up your pages. Uh, I have a basic tutorial on Elementor. Uh, I will put that in the card of, or in the description. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. And on this YouTube channel, I'll make a lot more videos about how to actually build a website. So again, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Wow, that was easy. Now you know how to install WordPress and Elementor. You also learn how to get things set up the easy way using SiteGround hosting. You will find they have very fast and reliable hosting for a great price. They also have a lot of very positive reviews so that should mean they are doing something right. The link you need to get the free or pro version of Elementor is in the description below. I also have the link for SiteGround hosting in the links below as well. Finally, since you took the time to watch this video till the end you can access some of my paid courses for free today. You just need to look for the link in the description that says, free private access. Once you click on that link, you will see an access web page. All you need to do to gain free access to the private membership club is type in 7, 6, 5, 4. You can then join my internet marketing membership for free. I also listed some other very useful information below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to like and click the notification bell to get updates. I should also mention that I have a video on using Elementor with WordPress, so look for it in the links below so you can get started fast. Okay, until next time, take care.